viewers. Welcome to our channel. Before we start talking about bladder cancer, we first need to define it. So, what is bladder cancer? First, let's talk about the bladder itself. The bladder is part of the urinary system. It is a hollow organ in the pelvis that stores urine before it passes out of the body. Many conditions can affect the bladder. Some of them are cystitis, which is an inflammation of the bladder due to an infection, and urinary incontinence, which is a loss of bladder control. Some signs and symptoms of a bladder infection are Pain or burning sensation while urinating Urgent urination, which is an overwhelming need to get to a bathroom immediately, even when your bladder isn't full. Having trouble urinating And frequent urinating during the night. These symptoms can be cured accordingly by your doctor. However, bladder cancer is a health condition that can be fatal if ignored. Bladder cancer begins in the cells of the bladder. This cancerous tumor that consists of cancer cells can grow into nearby tissue and organs. According to the National Institutes of Health, approximately 45,000 men and 17,000 women per year are diagnosed with this cancer. When suffering from bladder cancer, your body exhibits certain signs and symptoms that warn you about cancer, so that medical interventions and treatment can be initiated on time by medical professionals. So, what are some signs and symptoms of bladder cancer? Signs and symptoms of bladder cancer include Number 1. Blood in the urine, which is called hematuria. This is one of the most common signs of bladder cancer. This is because it is often the first sign in the early stages of cancer. The source of this bleeding comes from inside the bladder, where the tumor is bleeding. You could see bright red blood, orange, or pink colored blood. This bleeding can occur regularly or intermittently. There may be a situation where you have blood particles in urine, but they are invisible to you. And this is when the doctors ordered a urine test called urinalysis, when those blood particles could be detected microscopically. Number 2. Frequent urination. A person with bladder cancer may feel the need to frequently or urgently urinate outside the norm. For example, the norm urination frequency for adults is 4 to 8 times a day. Even though this sign can be a sign of bladder infection, or other health condition of the bladder, it can also be a sign of bladder cancer. Therefore, make sure to see your doctor to rule out bladder cancer. Number 3. Urinary retention. A person with bladder cancer may experience urinary retention. The urinary tract obstruction is caused by the tumor or the development of blood clots in the bladder as one of the complications of cancer. This causes the person to have difficulty urinating when the urge arises and even having a problem initiating a urine stream. Number 4. Pelvic mass. This may not be felt in the early stages of the tumor in the bladder. However, in the later stages, the doctor may be able to locate a mass that can be palpable in the pelvis. This mass indicates that cancer has spread to other organs and invaded the deeper layers of the bladder walls. Number 5. A person with bladder cancer may suffer from weight loss. When the immune system tries to fight the cancer releases substances called cytokines. These released substances can affect a person's metabolism, resulting in the loss of muscle and fat. Number 6. Anemia. Anemia occurs when the blood is deficient in hemoglobin, which is a protein in your red blood cells that carries oxygen to your body organs. This hemoglobin is responsible for transporting oxygen through the bloodstream. Therefore, a person with this cancer can suffer from being anemic. 
This is because when there is a growth of the malignant tumor in the body, these tumors deplete the body of vitamin B12 and iron. This low iron in the body can lead to shortness of breath. Swelling of the hands and feet. And a rapid heart rate. Number 7. Pain and irritation when urinating. Besides bloating and discomfort in the lower abdomen and pain in the back and pelvis, a person with bladder cancer often experiences pain and irritation when urinating, which causes a burning sensation. This is very common in the early stages of bladder cancer. So, what are some factors that may increase bladder cancer risk? A risk factor is anything that increases a person's chance of developing cancer. The risk factors for bladder cancer do not directly cause cancer in most cases, but they can often influence the development of this cancer. The following factors may raise a person's risk of developing bladder cancer. Number 1. Tobacco use. We all know that tobacco use harms your health in so many ways and leads to so many health problems. In regards to bladder cancer, cigarette smoking is considered the most common risk factor for cancer. Note, smoking cigars and pipes can also put you at high risk of developing this cancer. According to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, smokers are four to seven times more likely to develop bladder cancer than non-smokers. Number two. Age. As you get older, the risk of developing bladder cancer becomes high. According to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, more than 70% of people with bladder cancer are older than 65. Number 3. Gender. Regarding gender, it is imperative to note that while men are four times more likely to develop bladder cancer than women, However, women are more likely to die from it than men. Number 4. Race. White people are more likely to be diagnosed with bladder cancer than black people, although black people experience poorer survival outcomes once diagnosed. Number 5. Chemicals. Exposing yourself to the chemicals aromatic amines can increase the risk of bladder cancer. The sources of these chemicals are rubber, leather, paint, manufacturing plants, tobacco smoke, commercial hair dyes, and diesel exhaust. Number 6. Drinking water from a well that has a large amount of arsenic or drinking water that has been treated with chlorine can increase the risk of developing bladder cancer. Number 7. If you get bladder infections frequently, especially bladder infections caused by schistosoma hematobium or using urinary catheters for a long term or permanent, you have a high risk of developing bladder cancer. Now it is your turn. What are the risk factors that may lead to bladder cancer? And what types of food would you want to integrate into your diet to reduce the risks? Please share your experience in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.